It is November 16th, 2023. It's like uh, quarter to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <clears throat> I'm delivering some stuff out of my car. I have been, and this won't be out for months, so it won't matter, but I have been creating blogs, going through the videos, giving them titles, setting them up in SEO, I'm gonna start releasing them. I'm gonna set my camera up. I know I keep making these false promises, but most likely, if you time travel, could time travel forward, this video won't be out for nine months, but it's gonna be endless, <laughs> what I talk about. And then I'll start, once I'm caught up, I'll start doing a video a day once I get the process down and some income streams from the platform. But anyways, really interesting. Um, so I have an X account, which I really like. If I still have an X account when this comes out, you should follow me over there, Dave W, The Thinker. Um, I follow mostly comedians, I don't talk a lot of philosophy, although I'll put my videos up there. I just like to have fun. Post memes, joke, be rude, pick on some of the, my online friends and wall busts and stuff. Quite a few people follow me excited and they see a little bit of post and then unfollow me because I make a tasteless, dirty, racial joke. And I just want to make this quick video. I got about a 15 minute drive to just talk about like People are like, oh, why, you know, why do people have to talk like that? Whatever, you gotta be edgy and blah, blah, blah. And there's, they, you know, there's talks of censoring the internet. And they'll eventually try to do that. You know, just uh, create more market space for places like BitChute and, and Rumble and stuff. And people will find their, their place as they start censoring this stuff. But this morning, Twitter gave me uh, uh, a mark. They send me an email saying this is hate speech. So that's why I like to use jokes to push these boundaries because I want to see how far they're pushing in the other direction. So if you never use your free speech to say whatever the fuck you want, then you don't know what doors they're closing behind you um, and what they have in the works. But one thing that I thought was interesting today is Technology has gotten much better. So when an anthropologist digs up human remains, depending on how good the anthropologist is, they could even pinpoint water sources based on the minerals in your teeth and your bones and where you've been drinking in particular areas. So you can get very precise with human remains with the right anthropologist. However, as you backtrack out, you need a starting point. And although so many people say, oh, these outdated race terms, they're not outdated. It's just that we live in a socialist society and no one realizes what socialism is. It's just that socialism, social, very shallow. It's whatever the social people are saying is what is, is what is. But I still live in the world of objective truth, science, and, and Western philosophy with valid concepts. And the starting point subspecies breakdown of Homo sapien sapien of the original race classes still um, still holds weight. They're not obsolete in the manner. They're just a they're, they're less of a a marker. You know what I mean? Like you could subclass that species. Now, obviously. There's going to be a dominant and there's going to be a lot of interracial stuff going on. But it doesn't mean that the objective truth doesn't lie within these remains. And it's just based on evolutionary pathways. But I had made a comment today and it got flagged for hate speech. So I was curious to... I was in a science discussion about race. And I was making jokes on Danny Polichuk. should also fan all the comedian Danny Polchuk is a Jewish comedian from the Boys Cast. Absolutely hilarious. I say that he's Jewish because 
I mean, he lives. He, he lives in that joke right now. He's he's tormenting both sides of the anti-Semites and the and the 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 Jewish people, I guess, and the the woke crowd with his jokes now. Very funny. Go give him a follow. Met him in person a couple times. Great guy. I I don't know if it's reciprocated. He probably thinks that I'm a crazy stalking troll lunatic. But I like Danny. And I wish he would have listened to me when I told him that. Maybe he doesn't talk to me because I told him at Skankfest 2022 in Vegas to pull all his money out of FTX, get it off the exchange. And he didn't listen to me. So maybe he's embarrassed. Um, but I did tell him that because I'm an anti-Semite and I knew that Sam Bankman Freed was gonna steal everybody's money. But that's a whole different story. Anyways, the classifications in there's some arguments now that the art, the out of our Africa timeline is incorrect. And it's really hard to tell what timeline's incorrect and if there is actually missing links and what's going on because most of what we call objective science is not objective science. Socialism has been along, around for a long time. Example, like when, when they went to go pick the story of the pyramids, they picked the guy that was most popular and had an in. He just happened to also be uh, a Jewish Jewish guy talking to another Jewish guy, and they all decided that that was the story they could go through. It became the main narrative, but there's other narratives out there on the on the pyramids. So I'm pretty sure when the digs were going on and people were finding uh, human remains over the years, there was other stories that we didn't listen to, and they decided to create this weird linear path of evolution, but it's not linear, it's a branch. So if they can going to continue to try to find subspecies of human directions in, in evolution, but they're going to pretend like it's all one line and it doesn't branch in different directions, they're never going to be able to put the pieces of the puzzle together because they're trying to put pieces from different puzzles into one puzzle piece. And it just doesn't work that way. But anyways, I'm at my destination, so I'll make this real quick and I'll leave you with this. I was talking to somebody and they said, so Ethiopians are Caucasoids? And I said, no. And the long story is, the short story is no, Ethiopians are Negroids. The long story is, uh, back in ancient Egypt, the Greeks called, uh, had names from, mo lo uh, uh, a lot of Greek writings were pulled forward, right? And the Greeks had names for the different types of Africans. And the two major ones were the Nagas, N-A-G-A-S, and the Ethiopians. And so when they were in, northern Africa, Egypt, they're probably mating with Caucasoids, including Greeks, because the Greeks had a great love and thought that the Ethiopian people were some of the most beautiful people, if not calling them the most beautiful people on the planet. They were tall, lanky, they probably looked like, you know, uh, most of them probably looked like dark skinned Persians, similar to in the movie, like 300 with the jewelry and the, the short hair and that very lean, muscular, symmetrical body frame. And this was when they were in Egypt and the, the, the high class individuals were all meeting there to go over writings and books and share with stuff. And they're feeding from fish in the Mediterranean Sea, which is improving any, everybody's mental prowess compared to people that aren't fishing. So anybody that's evolving, whether they're in Africa, Asia, or, you know, Europe, the Mediterranean, and they're, and they're working in that Mediterranean Sea, which they're, they're eating a lot of uh, fish, which is growing their brain, which is helping them think, and it's getting passed down generational. So the, the Ethiopians do probably have a lot of Caucasoid in their bloodlines, but they're a Negroid. And I say, and I said, oh, Eth Ethiopians technically are Negroids, and it got flagged as a racial hate speech. So it's like, that's really interesting that you're not allowed to say the race of a thing, it seemed of, of an individual. So I tried and I said, Greeks are Caucasoids, Japanese are 
uh, mongoloids, um, Australian Aborigines or Austrianoids, and even Jewish uh, Askenazis are Jewish race. And none of those got flagged. The only ones to get flagged is you're not allowed to call people from certain uh, African backgrounds Negroid. So what's interesting to me is the censors are being, um, they're being bigoted in this thing. It's not racism because I'm trying to be racist. Race is a science and I'm trying to talk about the science of race. They're being bigoted because that one word is considered hate speech, which is either two, it's either bigoted from two or both avenues that I can see. One being, they're saying that calling somebody a Negroid is bad because it's inferior to those other people. Meaning you can call a Greek a Caucasoid because that's a compliment. You can call somebody from J Japan a Mongoloid because that's a compliment. It's a good race. You can call somebody who's Askenazi Jewish because that's good. You can even call somebody from Australia that's an Aborigine and Austra Austrianoid. That's good. But when you call somebody from Ethiopia a Negroid, that's bad. That's hate speech because that's inferior. That's a bad word. So they're being bigoted that way. Or they're afraid that they want to label all people that are of that type of descent would be offended by that word, meaning they can't control themselves language and don't understand science, which seems a little bit bigoted as well on their half when that's obviously not the case. There's plenty of people in that area that are scientists. And in fact, if you go read outside the United States, go read some African science stuff that's going on with their archeological digs, like in Nigeria or Liberia or whatever, and they will use the word Negro it remains being found. It's a science word. And anthropologists use this. I hope this alarm doesn't didn't just go off. It's two o'clock here. No more caffeine, excuse me. No more caffeine for me for the day. My two o'clock alarm just went off. So I guess the question is just ask yourself, you know, when they ban these words, are they banning it because they they're saying, if you're part of that, you're inferior. So we're trying to get rid of that word. I mean, because there's nothing wrong with being being of Negro dis descent. Or are they saying, well, if you're from that descent, you can't handle those words. We have to take it out because it feels hatred to them. In which case, that seems bigoted. Uh, and then it's obviously not objective. It's social pressure from I don't know where, because if it was objective, you wouldn't be able to see the, say the other ones. The other words would be um, removed as well as like bad science. But if it's about bad science, I mean, there's so much bad science out there. So it's just really interesting to me to see the, the way that the algorithm is being pushed and changed. And... The problem is, like they say, it's not freedom of speech, it's freedom of breach. So what happens is, I if I don't delete that tweet, then I get hidden in the algorithm and I get shadow banned. And then people can't follow me and talk and have conversations with me. So it's like, look, you can say whatever you want, but then we just won't sh like show your account to anybody. So it's like, well, then it's not freedom of speech you're not standing up to freedom of speech you're not helping us move the thing forward so we've lost another word you know, that you can't say and it's not directed at anybody i didn't yell at somebody and call them that i was using it in a scientific conversation so i mean you can take any word and make it hateful and direct it at somebody i mean me and my sister used to joke around and call each other sucker slobs we, we would say it. We would say it so viscerally at one another. Sometimes, just be like, when you're like impatiently waiting for them to go somewhere, and they show up, you just oh, you're being a sucker slob there. That we would really get upset with one another over this made up thing. And like I would, there's no just being called. We used to just think it was hilarious to be called a slob. It was such an insult to call, to call somebody a, a slob. So. um 
I mean, I, I've called people a slob in a hateful manner in real life well more than, <laughs> than I've called words that they're banning today. So, I don't know. All right. Have a good day, everybody. I got to do some work.